Well, good day, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope you're enjoying the clips I'm making on uh, the taboo subject of urine therapy. Now, I've been making a film for four years now in the process of doing research, reading every book and so forth. One of the common questions that comes up is everyone asks is, how do you drink your urine? You know, straight up, neat, mix it. What's the method? And how you get around it as well, because the whole concept of, of doing this is, is quite repulsive to a lot of people and, and not always easier to do. And a lot of that is conditioning as well. We've, we've come to believe that urine is a dirty thing and it's, it's disgraceful and, you know, the toilet aspect of it and that it's not clean. And, and so, therefore, to drink something like that is, is, is really quite disgusting. And fair enough. And the idea of the taste. And that, that freaks out people as well. Because a lot of the thing is, is you smell it and it, it just smells so terrible that you think, oh my God, the taste is just going to be awful. But you've got to think there are a lot of things out in this world that taste equally horrible, but we eat it. Some people don't like the taste or smell of blue cheese. And others relish in it. Some people don't like drinking alcohol and it tastes terrible and it burns and does all those things, yet they drink. So, you know, the first encounter of this is always going to be a bit tricky. So the concept around it is also you have to change your mindset and be able to get your head around it. Now, a lot of the people I interviewed who did urine therapy were in dire straits. Their health was so poor, it was a last choice, first resort. So they went down the hatch. It wasn't any choice. They just went down the hatch and got around with it. So their mindset had already been, you know, it's do or die. And most of the people I, I've talked to said it was quite surprising of how tasteful it was. That it wasn't as gross or gag factor as most had thought about. It tasted a bit like light soapy water. And one thing is, you have to get used to the concept of urine and become friends with it. You know, get to know your body because it's inside your body. It was already in there. It's coming out. It's blood plasma byproduct. It is a part of you. So if you clean up your diet and then drink lots of fluids, your urine won't be as strong and yellow and as smelly as what most people will conceive as. Thus also, you know, if you don't drink, you, you are getting dehydrated and your urine can be quite dark in, in colour and also, you know, not taste great. So certain foods make urine don't, you know, taste that pleasant. So asparagus and so forth. So by starting the concept is your diet will actually teach you what is good for you when you do digest it. But still not an easy task. So I would suggest that people that are wanting to do urine therapy and the best way to start it, you could do the homeopathic way. And first of all, just put drops under your tongue and just get used to the concept of urine in the mouth. Now, if three or four drops under the tongue is not going to taste too bad. It's, it's probably not as bad as you think. And it's, it's not too, too shocking to the system because some, you know, sometimes you'll go into this like, great, can't do it. And you'll run away and never do it again. And, you know, for those who don't have that choice, your health could be suffering. Then I would start probably drinking more, trying to drink more later in the day, not the beginning of the day. Now, for those who do urine therapy, they know that the morning glass, first glass in the morning is the best glass that you could drink because your body has rested and it's full of all the essential vitamins, minerals and everything that you need that's vital to either cure your illness or put balance back to your body. The illness will disappear within its own cord. You're healing the body. You're not curing the disease. So by drinking later in the day, your urine is already diluted throughout the day. So it's not as strong. It's not as potent. And it's actually easier to get used to and accustomed to the flavor. Now, it's a required taste, like anything. Like beer is a required taste. When you first drink beer, it's just not too pleasant. And then slowly build up and become a bit more comfortable with drinking in the morning. If you find this is too strong for you, you can actually dilute it with a bit of fruit juice or juice or water or water it down and drink it that way. It doesn't really matter. Some people wait till it's cold. 
by putting ice into it, cooling it down and then down the hatch. Some people do it neat and straight down. And it's a lot of the problem is, is your mindset. It's just getting over that concept that you're drinking something that you think was, or you're taught to believe that was a toxic waste and it's dangerous for you, which is completely bogus and bullshit because I've met many people who have been drinking for 30, 40 years. Now, if it was toxic and poisonous, they'd be dead. So, and they're still drinking. And in actual fact, they've hewed, cured all their illnesses and they're radiant and they look fabulous. So, you know, go figure. So, basically then, you know, you could block your nose, you could do all that down the hatch. But it, the trick is not to think about it. Just down the hatch, go straight and eat. So quickly. Now, try not to rinse your mouth afterwards. And this is a pretty key point. When I found out I was in... Um, traveling to Japan, it was, they did a clinical test. Dr. Nakal did a test where he put a tube down people's throats and bypassed the throat. And they found that they had little effect. And those ones who had the urine in the mouth longer actually had better effects and of rapid effects because our, our lymph nodes and our information is all received here and it receives quite quickly. So by leaving it in the mouth longer and better, it is for you. So try not to brush your teeth afterwards and, you know, because you know, people go, oh, the, the flavor and everything else. Just get used to it. Get used to the flavor, get used to the idea, and it'll become a lot easier as you go. Now, most people, you know, who've been drinking two, three, four years are just so accustomed to it now. They don't even think about it. It's a daily regime. You just get up in the morning and do it, down the hatch, and away you go. So it's not something you have to actually spend much time thinking about it. It's just the first time when you come across the idea of urine. And I think most people ask, what's it taste like? And it can differ. It can differ from salty water to coconut milk. People say it can taste as sweet as coconut milk, but it all just depends. You know, maybe start some pineapple juice before and it'll taste all very sweet. If you're going to eat meat, you're going to find it, it tastes a bit stronger than, than some other days. Um... You know, ideally, if you have a health problem, you want to be trying to go a bit more healthier and cut down on so much overcooked, carcinogenic, you know, burnt foods. Um, and then, you know, pick up a bit more raw and vegetarian type style foods. Don't worry, you won't die. It's, it's, it is food. Get your nutrition and juicing and so forth. So it just take time. Just, you've got to give yourself time, um, perhaps to, you know, ask can find somebody, a friend who knows or may be thinking about doing this and do it as a, a, a thing together, as solidarity, you know, down the hatch and give it a go. Well, that's about all I can probably say about trying to get, you know, the concept of drinking urine to the point. I know it's, it seems disgusting to some people, but, you know, there are other people who are surviving and doing amazing things. So, good luck and uh, cheers. You can always listen to one of the blogs I've posted, uh, which is a song, which is I Drink My Pee Song, to help you start drinking urine and do it to a nice tune and down the hatch. But always keep calm. I heard a funny story of a woman that tried it and she put it, the cup in the cupboard in her bedroom and she couldn't open the cupboard. She was so grossed out by the whole concept of starting urine therapy that she just left the glass in there and it was the reminder of the smell that was always in there that was putting the mental block and so one of her therapist friends said well I think you need to go in there and take it out and uh, change that conditioning thought because you've now just built up this closed it's dirty behind the cupboard sort of scenario but yeah it is clean it's fine it's sterile 100% sterile it's 100% you know clean for you in most cases, I should say that because some people aren't too healthy. So, but in general, I have heard them drinking and it's all working out quite well for them. So there you go. Alrighty. Well, happy drinking. <laughs> Cheers.